Um, good morning, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, y'all gotta excuse me. I just got up this morning. Last night I was trying to do when I was doing a video, and you probably know what it is. I probably have the same clothes on. Um, it was talking. We was talking. The Lord had us talking about um, Revelation eighteen about the final the uh the uh about the fall of Babylon the Great. And remember, I was going to the end of the video, and y'all see me cut off. Uh, my phone was acting up, but um, like I said, sometimes God allowed things because he probably didn't want me to share it at that time, uh, and then sometimes Satan worked, because the thing is, the Lord bringing me back to where we left off at last night, but also he gave me a little more, so he probably had me, had let me finish the video to that stank, to that, um, to that point, because he had gave me more stuff that he wanted me to talk about with concerning this one. Okay, it was in Revelation 18, and we was talking about the fin finality of Babylon fall, right, at the end, when they were saying that the mighty angels took up the stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus the violence, the great city of Babylon, should be thrown down and should not be found anymore. The sound of the harpist, the musician, the flutist, and the uh, trumpeter shall uh, not be heard in you anymore nor craftsman or any craft should be found in you anymore. The sounds of the millstone should be not heard in you anymore. The light of the lamp should not shine in you anymore. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride should not be heard in you anymore. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, and by the sorceries all the nation was deceived, and he, I mean, and, her, and, and in her was found the blood of prophets and uh, saints and all who were slain on the earth. So when the God, God was cutting me off on this, um, or when all that happened, he was, he was leading me to something else. But then to today, he got me going to that, and we're going to discuss something else that he brought up to me, okay? Okay, let's go over this. Um, then a mighty angel took, we're on Revelation 18, 21 through 24. That's what we're going on, y'all. The last one from the other day about the Babylon fall. Um, uh, the fall of Babylon the Great. Okay, so uh, the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus the violence of the great city of Babylon should be thrown down and should not be found anymore. But remember God told me, he said he was um, doing this with Sodom and Gomorrah. And then God was telling me something about a war, about the war, right? Uh, also, I was talking about with the merchandise. So we go back into the, to the video Something about merchandise and they can't be getting it over the sea. It's a communication. And the Lord was telling me something about, remember I told you I had a dream about uh, Russia and China. But in 2020, um, he was telling me uh, some, uh, something with China and all this. So those were the nations. And then he had me to add another nation on top of that that he brought up to my, uh, that I had wrote back down on something he was telling me then. He's saying Iran and I, Iran, like Iraq and Iran, those, those are one of the nations too. So that's going to be. Uh, India, Iran, United States, China, and Russia so far. So those five that we that he brought to my attention. So we're just going to say those five so far, and we got two more to go. Okay? So, uh, but remember something about a war. So when he was talking about already in this final, uh, uh, the mighty angel took up the stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus the violence of the great city of Babylon should be thrown down and should not be uh, found anymore. So the Lord was talking to him. He had gave me to, he told me, to, he brought into my remembrance. He said, go back to this, one of the seals. And he told me, he said, go to seal number two. So it says, when he opened the seal, second seal, I heard a second living creature saying, come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out and it was granted to one who sat on it and take peace from the earth. See, peace from the earth, the the war. And that people were, people should be killed and, and that people should kill one another, and there were given to him a great sword. So he brought me back to that. He said, this is concerning to that seal, okay? The second seal about the people killing each other, uh, a war. Uh, so then he had told me, because uh, also with the second seal, I believe he was telling me something about the lawmakers got something to do with this too, that um, it's going to be coming to like with something killing people. So, um which is the lawmakers, they all have a, uh, something going on. Uh, the government and stuff going to be, something going to be going on with a war. So, of course, they're going to be involved into all this. So, that's what God's saying. Okay, then he said, go to the next one. The second of the harpists, musician, fluter, flutist, and uh, trumpeters 
shall uh, not be heard in you anymore. And so this was God also. He Even when he said this about the sound of the harpist music, musicians, you know, God is always talking about the evilness. We know we got evil people that's into the music stuff. So this is what he brought to my attention when he said musicians, because musicians stood out for me. And so um, he said even they evil music, the music and stuff they have, you know, all this stuff, the evilness they got going on, they won't even be hearing this no more. So that's what he's saying. And then he said, no craftsmen or any craft should be found in you anymore. And a sound of millstones should be heard in you anymore. Uh, um, the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore. Remember when God, he talking about the word of the Lord. Because remember when the Lord said, uh, let this light, the lamp, the, the word is like a light, uh, a lamp unto your feet. So that what God had brought that up to me when he said lamp and feet. So that let me know that also the word of the God, you know, it won't be heard anymore. Because remember God also, thank you, Lord. He told me, he said, it's going to be a time. Remember in one of my videos, he said, he, um, won't have his prophets to say anything anymore, y'all. So this is going to be happening. That um, you ain't going to be hearing the word of the Lord, period. Not even from the, his prophets. Um, so, um, and it said, and the voice of the bridegroom and bride should not be heard from you anymore. So this was God just saying his word. It's his word, period. You won't be hearing it anymore. And um, that the Lord won't be there anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'll be, but he's not going to be in the midst of it he gonna it's gonna be judgment but god just saying i'm removing myself period from you guys from from babylon from america so i'm i, I ain't even gonna i'm just removing myself like i'm not my help he removing his help so it's just the thing he's not gonna be there anymore he just saying that they doomed and he said for your merchants were the great men of the earth and um, uh, for by your sorceries all nations were deceived and then this what god was telling me he said also uh uh the sources he said it was something that dreamy gave me last night y'all and um this is confirming me with witchcraft and them doing the word of the lord so also he's saying sources so it's like witchcraft they've been they were doing witchcraft y'all already know it's also um god been telling us about watching and doing um rituals and doing all that stuff on tiktok and all this stuff these people are performing witchcraft that will god also thank you lord he bring it back to my memory he say also when i tell you about don't uh every miracle sign and wonder is not from him because the antichrist gonna do this miracle sign and wonder. he said this is all part of witchcraft like they're gonna be doing stuff they this is all created of witchcraft y'all and sources is witchcraft so uh, we know the devil got his way and God got his way. So you got to understand that. And this stuff going to deceive people, which have been deceiving people. The stuff that you see, that's why God said your eye gate. We seeing stuff on here and this is performing like a witchcraft. You getting up in this stuff, they doing rituals, sacrificing. All this stuff is all witchcraft. So you got, that's what God trying to tell us to get away from this. Because everything is not from the Lord and all this witchcraft going on. Like you see at the Travis Scott concert. You see everything going on, little nicks and pieces. And he telling us about the TikTok involving into the stuff you're doing, rituals, you're doing spells. You 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 participating in with witchcraft, with all this stuff, the sorceries. All this is a is a, a trick of the enemy. So he said, uh, the nations were deceived. And in, uh, and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and all who were slain on the earth. So that's what God had told me. He said, also, this is why you got to understand that gonna be, it ain't going to be no, um, you ain't going to hear the word of the word, the prophets, his saints, those are giving it. All is going to be blood. Uh, uh, he's saying, you know, and her, in her was found the blood of prophets and slain and saints and all who were slain on the earth. So even they say all those who slain on the earth, just, just didn't say his people said the blood of uh, prophets and saints and all who slain on the earth. And, and and when God also, he said, he's speaking to, he said, also when he say blood, it's not even just like killing anybody. But what you are in a mess, uh, they are because they selling their soul to the devil. So he's saying like, they, they, uh, they trick people and, and they souls, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can mean just a blood slain, a blood too is killing, which that is going to happen. But also they, they uh, tricking people into, um, uh, Selling they sold to the devil. It's involved with the devil. But um also he just letting us know that these people, you know, blood gonna be slain. And then this he already told about this war. So this is concerning with the war going on and also uh with the laws and stuff with persecution and stuff. So this is all evilness. So God was telling us about this. But also God would gave me something 
that uh, I have some notes that one of the things he was telling me about, and this was about the war. So I guess at this time he wanted me to talk about the war because I told you God was revealing things to me. And one of the things that he, he won't let me do it until he allowed me. So I, this is the stuff that he was telling me about the war. So I guess he, he allowed me to talk about the war. So he allowed me to talk about the war at the end times, about the war. And then, and that's when one of the notes he was giving me about the war. He was also saying something about Russian and Iran. Um, so... I brought that up into you guys, so I guess that was it. The nations, like I said, I just got notes written down. So, um, cause he told me to go look into the news, and it was something about um, Iran was seizing uh, foreign ships in the Gulf. So also with the sea, you see what I'm saying? There's like foreign ships in the Gulf and the sea, and something was going on. But um, knowing God also speaking in here about merchandise over the sea. And they was in shipment. So he was telling me these got something to do with it. So he had me to do research with that. So if you guys want to look that up, you can too. About what um it was saying something about nations were joined together against Israel Israel. And he was like talking about like end times or Armageddon. Um, I'm just giving y'all notes because um and then he told me like in Matthew 24 something he said it's gonna be wars and rumors of wars, wars and war and rumors of wars. So these are the notes he was giving me about this war. Um, he didn't give me a prescription, uh, uh, particular scriptures, but I got something in Ezekiel 38, 39. I got to see that. See, I see more people post about, okay. I don't know what that is, but cause I got notes everywhere, but I know he's going to talk a lot about the wars that's coming up. And he was talking about Armageddon. He was talking about the end times. These are my notes, but as we go on, he's going to still, uh, discussed us about the war so which he did he brought this forth telling us about the war he got us into the about wars and so this is what we discussing um revelation 16 revelation 12 through 17 hold on y'all revelation 12 through 17 He had me to write down Revelation 12 through 17. This was way back when I told y'all that day he gave me something. And we went over these from 12 to 17. So it, it must be just confirmation he wanted me to, that we was going through these. 12 through, yeah, he gave me that. And we went through 12 to 17. We went past 12 to 17. And now we on to, um, he got us talking about the war. So. This must have been one of my notes. Like I tell y'all, notes I write down. He give me scriptures and stuff, and I be writing it down. So this must be just confirmation of what he had us to go through at this time when I was writing this. But he said something about, um, he got, okay, Israel and end times. We know they're talking about that. But he said, uh, we was discussing Armageddon. Um, so we're going to discuss all this when he, he gives us a chance to. But he's telling us about the wars now, too. So expect this, and we're talking about merchandise and Babylon. And then um, he t had me to look at some news when I was he was talking to me about Russia and Iran. He said something about um, Iran sees foreign ships in the Gulf, in the sea. So also this is combining with he telling us about something with the sea and the merchandise. So all this is combining together, y'all. So... He started saying nations would join together, y'all. Nations would go and join together on the sea. Something about nations going to join together on the sea. Nations join together on the sea. He bring it back to me. I know the Lord said something about the sea. Oh, he said, this is the beast from the sea. These nations, y'all. On the sea. Something with these nations on the sea. Something, y'all. Which we know he's telling us, but he's really stressing the sea. He's telling me to... Continue to look through these passages he gave me. He said, you see, that it's something about the sea. The sea is very, very important, y'all. Because he gave me something. And then when I looked at this, and I just glanced over it, and the word sea just popped out. So, 
Let's see this. There's a mighty angel took up a stone like a millstone and threw it into the sea. Remember the sea? And then he's, he bring it back to me. Something else we discussed. Something was thrown into the sea, y'all. Okay, let's go to the beast of the sea. Then I stood on the sand of the sea. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, having seven heads. <coughs> ten horns and ten crowns see also with these nations who, who is like the beast who was able to make war with him then he, he got me saying something about war with the beast these seven nations these nations with is it going to be more than one nation go against America y'all they go against Babylon the sea you said it's in the sea the sea but I know he told me about I ran and rushing on the sea. We're going to have to look this up, y'all. But I know something about I ran out there. Because I got right here something about a news. I ran seas, foreign ships, and gulf in the sea. But then he's saying rushing and I ran the sea or something. Y'all look. Let me look my phone up, y'all. Something going on out there with them in the sea. I just know about Russia. I mean, Iran. I tend to see. Y'all, my phone dead. I can't even get on. <laughs> Look. Ah, that's funny. We, Y'all, let's look into this and see what's going on. But God was saying something about merchandise, too, when we were reading it yesterday about he going to cut off the merchandise and stuff, something with shipments and stuff like this. And so I ran and rushing on, I seen, he said something about, I ran and rushing. He gave me a note, I ran and rushing, working together. Then he gave me a note, of me to look at a news about Iran seizing the Gulf ship. So he told me Russia and Iran, something together, working together. He said, they, Iran and Russian, Russian is, he got me a note, is against Israel or something. And then down i put an arrow and he had me i say news i ran seas foreign ship in the gulf of sea so we need to look this up y'all i'm just giving y'all a little tips on so y'all can look up the same thing we do research because god give us stuff and it's time for us to we need to do research on this too y'all um i he said nation of the sea y'all nations of the sea Nothing these nations on the sea, y'all. Nations. Y'all, he say nations on the nations on the sea against me. That's what he told me. Nations on the on the sea against me. Nations on the sea against me. And also with the he have me said it give me come up to Daddy putting out to me the beast from the sea. But we know these things. Yeah. Let, let me just get back to y'all and get to the Lord on this because this really got me bobulated right now. But to a certain extent, I know nations on the sea, but let me get back. Let me get back with y'all and see what more information the Lord give me on this, y'all. So, cause I like to come back with all of it. I just woke up and just went into this, but he said he's saying nations of the sea against me. Nations of the sea against me. 
nations of the sea. We know, hold on, y'all. These people probably don't believe in the Lord. That's why I'm saying uh, an Antichrist with the S, the small Antichrist. We already know with Iraq and Iran they uh, and China, Russia. These probably people that ain't that don't believe in the Lord, y'all. These Antichrist, which we know, but it just we knew he's speaking about it, but he's stressing. Because he's saying, nations on the sea against me. So, and he's saying, these, the small antichrist, y'all, which we know. We know they the antichrist. Yeah, Lord. I, you know, I ain't trying to say that we know they. I'm trying to brush the Lord off. I'm just saying, I'm just confirming. Antichrist. He started saying, war against me. Nations of the sea, war against me. I tell y'all, God be rhyming sometimes. The Lord rhymes sometimes, y'all. Nation against, nations of the sea, a war against me. Something. Something's sticking out to me. I gotta look at it real quick, y'all. He got me saying he's saying something a number. So let me see. told me to look at and then he got me going towards the temple the temple the the lord's dwelling place so i know they for they all for the temple so he gave me something he, he gave me a number and he said this and he got me going to this scripture right here y'all Where he brought me to the gate, the gate that faces toward the east, that face toward the east, and behold, the glory of the God of Israel came, <coughs> came away from the east. His voice was like a sound of many waters, and the earth shone his glory. It was like an appearance of vision, which I saw, like a vision which I saw when I came to destroy the city. The vision was like a vision, was like the vision that which I saw in the river. Shattered out, fell on my face, and the glory of the Lord came into the temple by way the gate which faced towards the east. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court and brought the glory of the Lord from the field of the temple. Then I heard speaking to me from the temple when a man stand beside me and son of man in the place of my throne and the place of sole of my feet while I dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever. No more shall the house of Israel defile my holy name. Thy nor kings, thy nor their kings by their harlotry of in high places. Hold on, y'all. So the Lord gave me, he sent me to a scripture, and it's talking about the temple, right? So this God was saying they were war, the, na the nations of the sea against me, and then the nations, and then he got me going to the temple, which we know they're against the temple. And then he got me... Then he, he, look, this is what it says, something. He's, it's so something about, in this one, it was talking about the dwelling place of the temple, but, and then it was saying something, no more shall the house of Israel, Israel defile my name, nor their kings. So this will be confirming y'all, these people, the kings of these, these nations over here to the temple. So God telling, he said, nor their kings by their haltry, um, uh, haltry or their, uh, or with their carcasses 
of their kings of their high places. Kings on their high places. And then when God told me, he said high places, you know, he said wickedness and uh, we don't flesh, we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against uh, prince and principalities and high places. So he told me this, so he just spoke to me, he said high places, this is, this is, you know, he talking about uh, the demon high places, right? This one. He said, when they set their threats, threshold by my threshold and they door part by my door posts, I mean door posts, door posts, and with the wall, them and me, they defile my holy name by abominations which they committed. Therefore, I have consumed them in my anger. Now let them put their whole tree and their carcasses of their kings far away from me, and I will dwell in the midst forever. So God told my something with these people. We already know this just even confirming us about them. But he said, remember the beast of the sea. He told us, he said, nations of the sea. These people coming against the temple of the Lord. And then he already told us right here, he said, these are, uh, um, they haughty and they kings. Excuse me, he took me to another scripture, y'all, to Ezekiel 43. And he, he was giving me number 43, oh, 43 in Ezekiel. And this is what he talking about, the temple, y'all. The son described the temple of the house of Israel, that they may be ashamed of their iniquities. And let their measure the pattern. And if they're ashamed of all that have done, make done to the temple arrangements. And it exists in its interest and enter the design of the ordinance of the forest and is and all its laws. See, all the laws. Write write it down in the sight so they may say so they may keep the whole design. This is something about the temple, y'all. This must be about the third temple. Look, hold on, it says this. Write it down in their sight so they may keep it whole design and all the ordinance and perform them. This is the law of the temple. The whole area surrounding the mountaintop is mostly how the so it must be two two is it two areas in the temple, y'all? Cause it said this probably what they going for, y'all, at the temple. The high spot. And then the Lord talking about the lawmakers, they talking about laws. Laws, y'all. It say this is the law of the temple. The whole area surrounding the mountaintop is most holy. So this is where they're going, y'all. Behold the law of the temple. So it should be two parts of the temple. This it, the whole area surrounding the top of the mountaintop is holy. So they this is what they're going for, y'all. This is what God confirming in us. He's telling us about the temple. And this is what it is, y'all. This is what they want to do, the holy. We already know they want to go, go against the Lord and the third temple getting built. So I didn't know it was two parts of the temple, y'all. It says something about surrounding the mountaintop is the most holy. The surrounding the top, so it's two parts of the temple. It must be a top and a bottom then, because the mountaintop. He said, behold, this is the law of the temple. And that's what God say, evil lawmakers, because they want to make their own. They want to break the law of this right here. The Lord said, that's why he brought about lawmakers, y'all. They all evil for this. They, they all dirty, y'all. They all dirty. We already know they dirty. But these seven, I guess he brought this all to get us together. Because he said, he gave me Matthew 24, wars, wars, and wars and wars and wars and rumors of wars. Y'all know this. And he was telling me about something about Armageddon and um, Israel and Russia. I mean, not Israel. He said, Russia and Iran they also against Israel. So these must be some of the nations too, y'all. So we got, we got to look at something about Russia and Iran, y'all. See what's going on. But I know he had me look up something with Iran and something was in the sea of the foreign ships. Uh, they, Iran sees foreign ships in Gulf Sea. So I know something going on with that, y'all. And he, okay, y'all. It's un so we know something going on with this y'all about the war. So something going on with this going on. But I know he had told me something about China too in 2020 and with Russia. I had a dream, some dreams about this, about a war, fighting wars or something. So he just confirmed this y'all. But we got to do some more research. So when I give it to y'all, he give it to me, I give it to y'all. We got to do a little research. But also have your relationship with the Lord because this is how he's bringing the things to our attention. Remember? Those who have an ear, let them hear. Not about the eye. We see everything right here. They're going to deceive people by looking. This right here. So we got to be careful.
careful. And he said sources. Because this confirmed with my dream last night too. About uh, it's just telling me about witchcraft in the Bible, y'all. These people here doing this, this witchcraft stuff, the sorcery stuff. With the word of the Lord. Going against the word of the Lord. This, the word, the word of the Lord. So. It might be deceived. The Lord said, don't be deceived by wickedness in high places. <laughs> huh? Huh? He said, said, don't be deceived by wickedness in high places, y'all. And that's why he brought up something about high places. When he brought up right here in Ezekiel. When he told us about high places, y'all. When he took us back to Ezekiel, he brought me back right here. Look, he said, and no more shall the house of Israel defile my holy name, thy nor their kings, by their hard tree, or with their or with the carcasses of their kings of their of their high places. And then carcasses is something dead, so you know these demons, y'all. So of high places. So when God spoke, I told you you spoke that out when I seen it said high places. So, y'all, I'm going to put the descriptions at the bottom, y'all. You know, I always get the word for yourself. So I'm going to give y'all what he gave me. And um, y'all get in have a relationship with the Lord with yourself because he also tells tells everybody extra stuff or whatever, you know. Um, Y'all be blessed. Let me, I'm going to get back to the word of the Lord. Y'all get back with the Lord. May y'all be blessed. He brought me back to brought this up to y'all from yesterday, last night. Um, Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye.